afternoon. So today I want to talk about posters and specifically how we can utilize new types of online tools to get that poster experience. This is a picture from one of my courses, MSc in Biomedical Engineering, where I, as one of the activities, I expect the students to sort of present a poster and present ideas. And unlike a presentation, the, you know, where somebody yappers on for 10 or 15 minutes and then there's maybe one or two questions, posters are proper in, uh, properly interactive. You know, for 10 minutes, you can be asking questions or 15 minutes, you can be asking questions and probing the student's knowledge on different parts of what they've done based on what they present on their poster. So students get a lot out of it, and frankly, they get a lot more out of it than a, a, a traditional PowerPoint presentation. And they really enjoy it, as per the smiley faces. However, as it currently stands, you know, this is a poster that one of my students made a couple of years back. Um, if you try to present this poster in PowerPoint over a video link, the experience is rubbish. There's frankly no point doing it. You, you, you can zoom in on it, but again, frankly, the, 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 the text is largely unreadable. And more to the point, only the presenter has the power to zoom in on particular features. The reader, or the reader or the viewer loses that experience of being able to point to different parts of the post and say, what's that all about? What's going on in that particular graph or that particular picture? And so this is a really crap experience. And frankly, you may as well just uh, give the students a PowerPoint presentation. However, um, there is a new tool. Um, this is called, uh, called Miro. And Miro presents itself as an interactive whiteboard. So you can download this, and both sides um, have, you know, uh, have this tool sort of uh, going on their, on their PCs. And both have access to the same page, but can independently zoom in, zoom out, edit, comment, and do things uh, independently uh, on each side. Uh, and it's free for us academics which is uh, re really, really important. Now, what this means um, is that you can take this poster, you know, you can do everything in PowerPoint, it's really convenient, you know, keep all the existing tools, and then simply, uh, you know, set up a, a whiteboard that the students share, and then you can simply copy and paste this um, into, uh, uh, you know, into the Miro. Now, the point being here is that the presenter, and this, the, the reader, the viewer, so the presenter will be the students, um, the viewer would be us as academics, we can both independently zoom in and zoom out of particular features. Um, now this is actually a bit of a game changer because this then means you can get that poster experience. Um, there are functions down here for presentations and there's this kind of functions where, um, you know, you, you can kind of listen through the Zoom interface, but or sorry, through the uh, Miro interface. But frankly, you could just do what I'm doing now, where you have like a Zoom communication system, but both sides can independently, um, you know, uh, explore different parts of this poster and, and have that sense of interactivity. So I, I do recommend this. I think this is a bit of a game changer to allow us to have that poster experience, but in the virtual domain.